Hi everyone, my name is Helen and I work at Milltown Malbay Library. Today I'd like to read you an extract of the story called Mad Grandad and the Wicked Pictures. And this story was written and illustrated by Oshin McGann and published by O'Brien. Chapter 1. Patterns in the Paint It was the middle of the holidays and I was going over to Grandad's house to help him paint his living room. When I got there, the room was already cleared out and there were sheets over the furniture. There was a bunch of old tins and tubes of paint sitting on the floor. Where did you get those, Grandad? I asked. They've been in the shed for ages, Lenny, Grandad said. I bought some of this paint in the 1960s. The 1960s was years ago and Grandad talked about that time a lot. I think it's because he wasn't bald back then. Grandad was a bit mad. He sometimes put orange juice in his tea or danced when he was listening to the news on the radio. Does paint that old still work? I asked Grandad. Only one way to find out, Grandad replied. He opened one of the tins. The paint was a pale yellow. Dipping a brush in it, he reached up and painted a piece of the wall. That was when things went weird. The paint was striped. The stripes were red and yellow. Holy smoke, Grandad gasped. He brushed on more of the striped paint and we looked at it in amazement. He tried another tin. This paint was green with yellow polka dots. He just brushed it onto the wall and the dots appeared all neat and clear. Let's see what else we've got, I said. Chapter 2 Named and framed. We opened more tins and started painting. I did a separate patch of wall. All the tins of paint had weird patterns in them. A few minutes later, we stood back to look at our work. That's mad, I said. I have dreams about things like this, Grandad told me. They almost look like creatures, don't they? Grandad's creatures creature was much bigger than mine, but mine had sharper teeth. Yeah, this is cool, I said. Pity we have to paint over them. Who says we have to? Grandad replied. Great, I'm going to call my one Fang, I told him. I think I'll call my one Mildred, Grandad said, nodding to himself. He disappeared out the door and came back a minute later with a picture frame. I've had this lying about for ages, he said. He hammered a picture hook in over my painting and hung the frame on it. It made my picture look really cool. Now we just have to get a frame for mine and they'll both look like proper paintings, he told me. That sounded like a great idea. Granda took some measurements for his picture and then we headed into town to get a frame. Chapter 3 the missing picture. When we came back from the framing shop, I hurried into the living room. I skidded to a stop and stared at the wall. Grandad, I called. My painting's gone. Holy smoke, he gasped as he came in. How did that happen? There was nothing but a blank space on the wall where Fang had been. Even the frame was gone. We both went over and touched the wall, just to be sure. Look, Grandad said, pointing at the floor. There were little drops of paint on the floor leading out the door. Somebody stole it, Grandad growled. But it was painting painted on the wall, I said. How can you steal paint from a wall? We followed the trail of paint drops out into the hall. We followed it up the stairs. Then we followed it into Grandad's spare room. As we walked in, a movement above us made us look up. The picture frame suddenly dropped from the ceiling and fell over us. It landed on the floor with a thump. I went to step out of it, but found I could only slide along the floor instead. I was completely flat and I was stuck to the floor. Grandad, what's going on? I yelled. Grandad was stuck too. 
It's like we've been turned into paintings, Lenny, Granda told me. But I can still move. Me too, I said. We heard a nasty laugh from above us. Sitting on top of the door was my painting, Fang. He was real and round and he looked like a crazy little goblin. He jumped down, picked up the picture frame and ran downstairs. So I hope you enjoy the first three chapters of this book. Bye.